for those instruments. Come on, somebody. <laughs> on the back, we've got Devin on the saxophone, Caleb on the saxophone, Savannah on the viola, Big Owen on the string bass, Jordan on the clarinet, Emma on the clarinet, Annika on the violin, James on the tuba, Caitlin on the flute, Olivia on the flute, and Tanner on the keys there. Give him a hand. All right, we've never done this before. We'll see how this happens. We're going to do a little auctioning here, okay? But first of all, first of all, let me show you and tell you about what's coming up for the teenagers. Next Sunday, they're going to have a last rehearsal in February. We're going to have a Grammy award-winning uh, time next Sunday at 5. And then on March, we're going to take three weeks off. March the 24th, they're going to be at the Watermere Retirement Village. We went there last year singing some hymns and some of the songs, and those senior adults... Uh, it just brightens their day. That'll be, we'll get you more information about that. But on a Sunday afternoon, March the 31st, this is very exciting. Pray for good weather on the 31st at concert at the Dallas Arboretum. Can you spell that? And the Botanical Gardens will be there on Sunday afternoon. <laughs> we'll be a part of Easter. And then our last thing will be on Sunday, May the 5th. We'll be at the Lynn Hess Juvenile Detention Center. Get you more information about that. Man, God's opening some doors. Come on, somebody. Can I have an amen? <laughs> and then... You know we're going to go together to C2, to Kansas City. We have a group going to Kansas City in March to check everything out. So let's be prayer, praying about that. Now you don't have to be a part of Crossroads to go to C2. If you know a young person tonight, the money that's given, part of that goes to scholarships. We have uh, scholarships sometimes from the foundation. We have people that give money. Uh, there's not a reason the kid can't go with us. Can I have an amen? Because there's always, God always provides for every kid that wants to go. Three, three days in Kansas City and then coming back to Oklahoma City for the camp okay now we're gonna we're gonna start with this this punch bowl okay this uh there it is now, i don't think that's the exact one that's just a picture off the internet okay <laughs> michael dean's gonna play us a little uh music and oh hey before i forget it our our sound tech crew in the back they've been working hard doing all the video and equipment like that <clears throat> so we're gonna start the bidding michael said he has some uh he has some auction music he'd play for us. So auction on the Pat Hardeman Punch Bowl. We're going to start at $10. $10 right there, okay? Ten. Oh, I'm not a $1, $10, $10. And I've got 20 How much? Two zero. I got 20 back there. Help me out here, Jeff. 20 Who else? 20 over there. 20 Anybody? 25, I see that hand. I'm down to 25, 25. 25, give me 30, give me 30, 25. Okay, we've got boys, 30, $30 for a punch bowl. Come on, you don't get to keep the punch bowl, you just get the material in the punch bowl. $30 in the back. Huh? 32, 32. Anybody else want to jump up on it? Oh, 35. Is that? 35. Anybody? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. 35. 40. 40. 50. We've got 50 right here. 50 going once. 50. 60. That was 60 right there. 60. 65. Anybody go 70, 65, 65, going once, twice, 70, 75, 75 to you, <laughs> come on, it's for the children, <laughs> and you get a punch bowl, tax deductible, <laughs> $80. 80, 80 going, 85, 85, 85 over here, once, twice, yeah, yeah. 86, 
It's to you. 86 once. 8750. $90. Going once. Going twice. A hundred dollars right here. Oh, he was waiting on that. He was sneaking in there. A hundred. A hundred. Going once. Going twice. Don't, yeah, don't, don't raise your hand. Don't, don't, I saw somebody scratching their ear. Don't do that. A hundred dollars. Sold to Charles for a hundred dollars. That's awesome. If you'll see Stacy afterwards, she'll let you know about it. Hey, the next one is a three-hour work day with Matt, uh, Matt Hutchinson and Wallace Gibbs. Hey, this is, these are workhorses. Five dollars. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, four hours. Four hours. <laughs> yeah. Is this what you're going to wear? Okay. I love it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. We're going to start at 50 right here. 50. Let's go quickly. 50. 50. 55. Yeah, yeah. Where's Tabitha? Yeah. 100 over there. 100. 100 back in the back. 100. 100. It's for a good call. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. 100. Going once. Going twice. 150. That's great. 150. 175. Mercy. 175. 175. 175 once. 175 twice. 200. Two hundred. Two ten. Two ten. Two ten. She's all in. Two ten. Going once. Going twice. Two ten. Right over here. Soul, give him a hand there. All right. And the last item. Thank you, y'all. Oh, oh, you have the pie. Oh, we have it now. Now, <clears throat> this is a. Uh, this is not just one pie. This is uh, this is a pecan pie you take home today, and then you get. It's still hot. Sure. And then, yeah, it it is hot. Yeah. And then you get another pie. You get a certificate for another pie. So it's actually two pies. You get, you, you, wait a second. You take home the pecan pie and you get another pie. What was that? 60. 60. Talk loud. Here we go. 60. 65. 75. 75. It's pecan pie. 80. Do you have $80? 90? Oh, yeah, yeah. 100. 100. One and a quarter. <laughs> oh, 130. Okay, hang in there, Rex. Hang in there, Rex. 130. 150. One, 175. $200. Who was it? Who had the 200 right here? 225. 225. We're going up. We're going up on this pecan pie. 225. 225. 220. 250 on a pecan pie. 250 once. 275. 
285. He wants that pie. 300. Hey, all right, I, I, I don't know how we're going to get back into the worship service. We're going to make it. Hey, because it, it is about, how many of you uh, were influenced by your church as a teenager? Come on. How many of you grew up and there were people that prayed for you and gave and drove a van and drove a bus? I, that's why I do what I do, because of the investment that people made in my life. Come on, somebody. You know what I'm talking about? All, and I appreciate that this has been very generous and we'll know more, we'll share with you more about that. But it all allows us to take kids into an environment where they can hear the word of God. And because and its next song talks about hills and valleys. You know, you remember when you were a teenager and how one day you were on the mountaintop, the next day were you were in the valley. Come on, somebody. This song just says, I will praise you in the mountain, I will praise you on the valley. So let's give it up for these kids as they sing and continue to lead us. <laughs> shadows, you wiped my tears away, and I felt the pain of heartbreak, and I've seen the brighter days, and I've prayed prayers to heaven from my lowest place, and I have held your blessings, God you give and you take away, and no matter what I have, your grace is enough.
trying to figure out how to exist when I felt like so many things were pulling me in so many different directions. I think a lot of times we build these complexes based on insecurity, based on fear, based on rejection, and lies that we constantly have to overcome. And so this song for me was just a reminder that I know when I'm weak, he's strong. So how do I change that and bring that into my everyday life? When I feel inadequate, how is it that there's always these moments where I feel like God just steps in and supersedes my inadequacy? We all need to be reminded of what our Father says about us. Just who I am because I need 
Isn't she good? Hey, you know what? Aren't they great? I, I've learned some things tonight. Um, I've learned when we face budget deficit, get Jessica Leroy to bake some pecan pies. Hey, Jessica, where are you? Okay, I, I, I've been asked not to say who, I'll tell you later, but uh, I, I've had an offer from another family. If you'll make two more pies, th th they'll contribute $500 more. <laughs> I don't know if I got the bid on your cookies, but what I got, it's a steal compared to the pecan pies. <laughs> Mercy me. I thank you. Let me tell you a little story. Um, so I, the last 27 years, I've been teaching a class at Old Bell High School every three or four weeks, teams class. And I've got about 17, 18 kids, uh, sophomores, juniors, seniors. It's a great, it's a highlight of my, my, my month. I, I just love being with them. And so Friday, in fact, we got uh, with several of our kids, um, Wyatt Rolfe, Coach Rolfe and I have been doing this together for about the last 15 years. And, and Wyatt's in there, uh, Kyle Meyer's there, uh, Kennedy who just sang is, is in there, and we have a great time together. Um, and so Friday we had the session on how, um, how older adults and teenagers relate to one another. And so I said, we're just going to talk about you and me today. And uh, it was, first of all, I had, to, I had to find out from them what they define as old. Frankly, I was a little encouraged. I figured it was going to be 30. But, um, well, they did start out with gray hair and wrinkles. Okay. I qualify. Um, but then the, the, the median age of old from a 16 and 17 year, an 18 year old high school perspective is, is 58 and a half. Okay. I still qualify. Um, but we talked about the things that we have in common, how we're different, and, uh, and what we can learn from each other. I challenged them as they left. I said, if there's an older adult in your life that you can do something nice for, I just want you to encourage to do that next time you have the opportunity. Okay? So I said, that's the charge I left them with as they walked out the door. And so then, as is my habit, I headed to Sonic. As I drive in over that patio area where they, they can order, um, there's a teenage girl. I don't know her from Adam. Um, from a diff, uh, different ethnicity than I am. But uh, she, was, she was ordering, and I, I went into the manager. I said, Randy, I said, uh, I, said I want to pay for her, her meal. And uh, he said, well, she's using a card. I said, well, he, can, can you do anything? He said, yeah, I can cancel it. I said, but don't, don't let her know. And uh, I mean, all it was was a shake and some mozzarella sticks. If she knew it was getting paid, she'd have ordered a whole lot more. But uh, my only regret, well, he said, well, what do you mean to tell her? I said, don't tell her anything. I mean, my only regret was I should have told him to tell her, just God bless you and, and folks love you. But um, I said, just wait till I get out of here. Just be sure that she knows that her, char her car is not charged. Somebody just want to do something for her. Six seventy nine and a tip is eight bucks for a teenage girl because it's good for the generations to relate to one another and give to each other. But that's nothing. That's for somebody know, I didn't know. Now, you know at least one or two of these kids or you wouldn't be here tonight. But this is a place that loves the generations. We exist to be guiding generations and cultures in God's story of transforming grace. You know, when I talked to the kids Friday at school, I said, what, what are some of the differences between us, me, y'all? They said, well, we're good at technology and you have more money than we do. <laughs> That's a fact. I want some of your money tonight. Unless you paid $500 for a pecan pie. <laughs> Say, well, Jeff, you know, I, I've been bidding on stuff and, and I donated stuff. Yeah, me too. There's not a greater investment you're gonna, you and I are going to make tonight than these eight good looking gentlemen, ushers, are going to pass a plate, they're going to pass something, and we're going to put something in it. Because it helps keep the transportation, the cost, and I know it's expensive, folks. But what you're investing in is eternity. And we're helping to guide generations tonight. And I'm going to promise you, the hundred plus of them this evening, they're going to share the story 
of God's transforming grace this summer. Lives are going to be changed, and you're going to help. So thank you in advance for what you do. Let me pray, and then let's put this in one of your plates, and let's do this. Our Father, I, I want to thank you and ask you to bless those that give and bless those that receive. One of the things we talked about Friday was how important it is for all of us, regardless of our generation, to be grateful. And these students are grateful for moms and dads and aunts and uncles and grandparents for a church that not only love them, but they believe in them and invest in them. So I pray you'll bless the gift, the ones who give, those who receive. And so we thank you now for what's being done tonight and what, be done, what will be done this summer. And it's for your glory that we do so. And we thank you in Jesus' name.
great night. Thank you so much for thank you so much for being here. I've got a couple of things uh, that I need to go through. First of all, students, um, you will be both shocked and thrilled to know that Mr. Charles Jones down here has just donated that cake back to you guys so that you can all have a piece of it. So um, thank you so much for that. Um, that's just a win-win situation. I told, I told Mark, I think next year, we're just, we're just going to auction off everything. We're just going to do it all like this. All, everything you bring is going to, no, not really. But Jessica Leroy is going to open a pie shop right down here in the youth center. So uh, <laughs> Kyle, Kyle Marcus texted me and he said, he said, man, you got to steal two of the hardest working guys in the church and you got it for just over $200 and two pies went for 500. I said, I'm just going to have them bake pies all day. That's all they're going to be doing. So appreciate, appreciate Matt and Wallace baking pies at my house. All right, so here's what's going to happen, folks. Uh, as you exit, these doors back here, these doors right here, and these doors right here all have the names of um, anyone who won a bid. If you won a bid, you're going to want to go out these doors. If you didn't bid on anything, then you can just go out these doors over here. Uh, and, but unless you want to get something that wasn't bid on, we've got it right over here at the welcome desk. You can go out there, and there were a few items that weren't bid on. Um, one of them is Stroud's Fitness. So... Um, you know, if, you know, if you won those cookies or something, you may also want to pick up the fitness. That, uh, anyway, there's some great items that um, you can pick up for a reasonable price without even having to uh, fight for bids and stuff. And, and Rocky Williams will be right out there to help you with that. As you exit, if you want a bid, you're going to walk out here to the fireplace foyer. And, and kind of on this side of the fireplace foyer, you will pick up your bid sheet. And then you will make your way to a table that's either cash, check, or credit card. We've got all of that labeled. And you will pay, and they will stamp your bid sheet paid. And then you will take that bid sheet, and you will go right out here, right where you, we, did, we're not, we didn't do it this way last year, right out here exactly where you placed the bid. Things have not been moved. And you will exchange your, your paid bid sheet for the item. And you'll just pick it up from our students that are right out there, and they will thank you graciously for your donation to our ministry. So, so that's right. That's right. Give it up for them. They've been clapping for y'all all night. I'm grateful to get to serve a church that, that loves students uh, and loves generations and uh, to get to work with these students. Um, I taught them all the music. I don't know if y'all know that or not, but I... Um, I <laughs> No, but I, I do. I call them my own, and, and I love them, and uh, we're grateful that you came out tonight to support us in this way. And So as you make your way out there, just pick up your bid sheet, pay for it out there, and go pick up your item. If you want to pick up another item that wasn't bid on, it's right out here. But how about a big thank you for, for our students for singing, for these musicians over here and over here, all the folks back in the back running sound, and from our students. To all these folks out here on three, tell them thank you. One, two, three. Thank you. Y'all have a great night.
Aren't you curious? Is the anticipation killing you? I know something you don't know. Do you want to know? Huh? Can we count it down? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fix my eyes. Kansas City. Oklahoma City. Check out Kansas City, where we're going to be doing missions and tons of concerts. We're going to Oklahoma City for student life camp. Check out.